we should mention one more figure who is often seen as almost a symbol of the struggle for the truth about the spherical shape of the earth. Of course, we are talking about Giordano Bruno, who was burned at the stake by the Inquisition, supposedly for denying that the earth is flat. Where exactly this myth came from is not entirely clear, because the real reasons Bruno was killed were somewhat different. Giordano Bruno was born in Italy in 1548 and died in 1600. From childhood, he had a powerful love of knowledge and an intense desire to pursue it. At a relatively young age, Bruno entered the Dominican order, where he studied scholasticism and the texts of Plato and Aristotle. In addition, he studied the works of Meister Eckhart. During this period, the young Bruno began to raise considerable suspicion because of his interests and intellectual passions, especially after he obtained a book claiming that Jesus was not divine but rather possessed powerful magical abilities. Eventually, after numerous disputes with the Dominicans, Bruno set off to travel across Europe, where he encountered a wide variety of ideas and expressed his own. At the end of his life, Giordano Bruno, who had renounced the Dominican order, returned to Italy, where he was arrested by the Inquisition, which then conducted a judicial investigation for seven years. The philosopher was accused of numerous heresies, and the negative reputation he had earned throughout Europe for his many progressive ideas only seemed to confirm the Church's sense of its own correctness. In the end, Bruno was sentenced to death because of his idea of an infinite universe and infinitely many worlds, as well as because he doubted the virginity of the Virgin Mary, believed in reincarnation, and was deeply interested in magic. In other words, Bruno was burned not because he defended the idea of a round earth, but because of the many different ideas that the Catholic Church at that time regarded as heretical. 